Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. Last time we were here, we fought off a bunch of uh, the Exalt forces, and they're back again today. We also managed to finally genetically upgrade some of our soldiers, our heavy and our sniper are now enhanced. We're going to want to upgrade our assault and our support as well, but I think what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to go to the Psylabs. We're going to be sending in Hunter to the Psylabs, I think. Just Hunter. He'll be fine by himself in there. And I think he is going to be our first upgraded trooper. I'd like to get at least one Psy Soldier in our main squad, so I'm going to send just him for now. It's going to take him a couple days before it's actually done. Ten days, to be precise. But that should be fine for now. So we'll finish the... Hello? Okay, aliens terrorizing Delhi. I guess it's because there's panic there. We're going to send our Sky Ranger and deal with the terror mission. That might actually be really good for us. That might mean that nobody leaves us this month out of panic. So, we're not going to bring Gordon if we can help it. Is Becker healthy yet? Becker's healthy. Back on the mission, Becker. Welcome back. So we have some people here ready to do some more damage. And hopefully it'll work out nicely. Dobrenina, I wish I could give you a laser weapon, but I haven't bothered to develop any laser rifles yet, so I guess I'll just have to do without. You're a little bit underpowered for now, but that'll be fine. Actually, are you who I want to bring? I think you are. Yeah, you're who I want to bring. I don't have my normal support, so that'll do fine. And we're going to launch this mission and get in there. Let's see what happens. Our first terror mission with our genetically modified soldiers. Hopefully this all works out well. Presumably we'll be fighting chrysalids. I have lots of them. We'll have to wait and see. Of engagement for this mission uh, it's another in highway India. mission. I don't like this the highway. Are continuing their incursions into highly populated areas. We can't allow further it's a big L-shaped area. I'm not a big fan of it. Region. But that'll be fine. We'll get in there and we'll do some damage. Launch the mission. Alright. It's a good thing we can see that sign so close up. Are we still going to slip through our ship? It doesn't look like it. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Let's land, and we'll be able to get down there and deal some damage. We are much better equipped than we were before we had all these nice laser weapons. And these gene mods and upgraded mechs and everything will be even better. So, what do we see here? Nothing. They're all over here. Okay. So, we're going to start by just moving forward. Shapira, you're going to come up to the front lines here? Do you see anything immediately? No. In that case, Becker. No, we'll move Patil first. Patil wants to be the front because she's the toughest. So we're going to send Patil over this way and see if that triggers anything just yet. It does. That triggers a cyber disc and some drones. It always seems to. Immediately in Overwatch as well. We have to watch out for that. That should be okay, though, because now we move with Kraus, and she runs over here to the car, and that way she wastes the overwatch, if it happens. No, it didn't happen. Alright, so we're basically safe to move up then. Nobody else is going to trigger the overwatches. In that case, we're going to start by moving Reynolds into cover here. Actually, he can't make it to the cover. That's unfortunate. Move over to the car door, and you're going to overwatch here. That should give us a good shot at anybody who comes straight at us. Dobrenina, you're going to move over to the far side over there. There we go. You can see them, which is a bit worrying. And Becker, you're going to move up into the middle of the squad. Give us all your defensive bonus. They might grenade into the middle now, because we're all pretty close together. But I think we're outside of grenading range. You can actually shoot at the drone, so you're going to try it, Shapira. You might not have a great shot, but see anyway. You got it. Fantastic. All right. We'll take it. Any enemy fewer is a good enemy fewer. Now, I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's running away. Really? Well, that was unexpected. Huh. I really didn't think that was going to happen. Okay. Klaus, you're going to run all the way up to the front lines, maybe. Maybe not that far. I'll run you up to this car for now. Ah, oh, it's not even very good, though. I want to I move you to one movement range. There we go. Move you to this car door and see what you see. Nothing. Ooh. All right, you can go capture this person, then. Well, we found some more enemies. We found some floaters. That's good. Still don't know where the cyber disc went though. Patil, you're gonna move up and you're gonna okay. take a shot. Still no cyber disc in sight. Okay, can you take a shot at one of the floaters? Do you have a decent shot at any of them? Not really. Take the 54% chance. Look like you got it. There we go. Did we make rail guns? For some reason, I feel like I made rail guns and I didn't equip them for some crazy reason. I have to make sure I didn't do that next time. Because if I didn't equip my people with powerful weapons, then I'm very silly. Alright, we're over here. We're going to overwatch. Make sure that nobody gets shot. Shapira, you're going to move up a little bit, I think. Cover some ground. Yeah, I have a feeling that I made railguns and then didn't equip them. 
if I did, then I'm super dumb. All right, we're gonna come over this way with Reynolds. Reynolds, we don't think you can see anything from here. Dobranina, you won't be able to see much either, but I'm gonna move you over to the back of this car. That's affirmative. You should have a decent line of sight there for people coming closer for an overwatch position. And Reynolds, you're going to book it all the way up to the car door. There we go. All right, what happens this turn? Floater comes in. Yep, Floater comes in. Becker gets a shot. Please kill him. Oh, nice try, Becker. It was pretty close. All right. You're probably going to kill a civilian because they're easy to kill. Yeah. Kills a civilian because they're easy to kill. And here comes another cyber disc. Oh, good. Dobranina gets a reaction shot on one of the drones and hits it, but doesn't do enough to kill it. Unless she even could with that gun, unfortunately. All right, that could be a problem. I might rocket them. That would probably be a good use of a rocket, even if I do kill a civilian in doing so. I'm not sure if they're in rocket range even, though. They're pretty far away. If I try and rocket them, what do we see? Can I hit... Oh, come on now. Don't do that to me. They're just outside of rocket range. I can hit everybody except for the cyber disc. The target I actually want to hit. That's the worst. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Um, Reynolds, can you see the cyber disc? You can see a lot of things. What do you see? You see a floater. You see a drone. And there's a cyber disc. Okay, let's go for a headshot on him so you have a 100% chance of critting. Do 13 damage or so and I'll be quite impressed with you. 14 damage, even better. Alright. And you have double tap. Do it again. Hit him again. 100% chance to hit. You're basically going to kill him, aren't you? You might not do quite enough damage, but... Oh, you leave him with one health. That's just mean. All right, we're going to bring Kraus over to here. From here, we should be able to shoot one of those. Oh, good. We spawned some chrysalids. That's actually really bad. Okie doke. Now we have a lawn on our plate. You're going to rapid fire the chrysalid to make sure he dies, because he needs to go down. One of those chrysalids needs to die. If not all of those chrysalids. Shoot him in the face. Seven damage. Try again. Seven damage, good enough. All right. Let's see now, how are we gonna handle this? Shapira, you can shoot at the other chrysalid, can't you? Yes, you can. Try and hit the chrysalid. Good shot. All right, now you're going to suppression the chrysalid to guarantee he dies, because it will do two damage and you cannot miss. There we go. Good enough. Bit of a waste, but it made sure he went down, which is the important thing right now. Now, Reynolds can't fire again, so Becker is going to come over this way. Affirmative, Commander. Uh-oh, oh, I forgot about that. The Cyberdisc is aiming. That's unfortunate. I thought he was stomping because he went into the wrong mode. Thankfully, he missed us. Hopefully, he didn't hit any cars behind us. Did he? Did he hit any cars? No, he's, we're fine. Okay, so you're going to take a shot up at the Cyberdisc. You're actually going to do a collateral damage shot up at him. That can maybe hit some of his friends. You can hit them there and hit both of them. But I want to hit all three of them. This looks like it's going to let me because of that uh, piece of debris. But this will guarantee that he dies as does and one of the drones takes damage. So we're going to do that. No chance of missing that shot. Firing on hostile position. There we go. The guaranteed kill on the Cyberdisc. That might kill both of them anyway. It does. Fantastic. The explosion kills both the drones. That one worked out really nicely. All right, so now what we do is we push up this way with Patil. She clears out this civilian, and then we get to shoot this guy at point blank range with a minigun. Seek cover immediately. Here we go. Minigun shot, 73% accuracy. Go for the kill. Shoots right through another woman to kill the floater. Very nice. Okay. Dobrenina, you're going to just sprint over this way and capture that person for now. Well, this is going really well, I have to say. There's one floater running around causing trouble, and there's probably some mutons up here. But they haven't given us any problems yet. We'll get to them later. All right, floater, what do you got for me? Oh, another cyber disc. Really? How many cyber discs are there on this map? I think the one over here is still alive, too. Jeez. Cyber disc, like heaven here. All right, we need to push in here and try and deal with these guys. So, camera, what are you doing? There we go. Shapira, you're going to dash all the way up to this car because you can't do anything from this distance. Hopefully that doesn't trigger the overwatch there. I don't think it will because he's so far away from us. We're also going to bring Reynolds up here so he has a better chance at a shot next turn. He can see something. 
What do you guys see? Oh, you see that floater. That's fine. All right, Patil, you're going to move up to here. Oh, good. Zombie. Okay, you're going to take a shot at the exposed floater, not the drone or the zombie. Can you kill him? Yes, you can. You have great aim. Fantastic. All right. That's good stuff. Now, Dobrynina, you're going to move up to this car, I think. And you're going to try and take a shot up the hill, maybe. You can see the drone and the zombie. Uh, I guess I'll get you to go for the zombie. Take a shot at him. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. Six damage critical, in fact. Nice shot. Okay. I like it. I like it. Next up is Kraus. Kraus is going to move over here for now, because I don't want her to be too much ahead of herself. That'll work. Now, she should have a decent shot at the zombie. Yep. She might be able to kill him from here. Looks like she can. Nice long-range shotgun shot. Kills off the zombie. Now, Becker, I'm a bit worried about your ammo situation, so you're going to move in and reload. It doesn't look like you can actually overwatch anymore, so you're going to reload Reloading there. Now, the cyber disc is probably going to pop out and do something awful this turn, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh! The drone murdered a civilian. Awesome. Two damage. And the cyber disc pops out and probably takes a shot or throws a grenade or something awful. He's throwing a grenade, isn't he? Of course he is. That's going to hurt everybody. Ouch! Ouch. It also set this car on fire, so we have to get away from that. That's unfortunate, because it's our only real cover in this part of the map. But it's not the end of the world, because I can heal all these people with my healing burst ability, so that'll be fine. I'm going to send Shapira down here. You still can't see anything, really, Shapira. And you're not in cover, either, for some reason, even though it says it is cover. Well, I guess you're going to overwatch there, then. Reynolds. You can move down here, or you... Yeah, hmm. Can I move anywhere else that would be better? Not really. There's not a lot of cover over here. I'm going to move you down as well, then. Reynolds, you're going to come over this way. I'm on it, Commander. Just to make sure you don't get killed by that exploding car. Unfortunately, it does reduce your ability to do a whole lot this turn. You can hit him with a grenade, though, so we're going to do that. We're going to chuck a grenade over at that guy. Probably should have done that with uh, Shapira as well. But you know what? You can't win them all. There we go. Unfortunately, I probably shouldn't have done that first, because that wasted the high crit chance when he was open. I'm not doing this very well at all, am I? Let's see. If I send Kraus over to here, she should get a good okay. rapid fire at this guy. There's the other one. Oh, jeez, I forgot there's two of them back there. Rapid fire at him. Alright, this should do a lot of damage. Seven, now get a nice another eight. Nine damage crit, there we go. It might explode and blow up some damage to us, but I think we're okay. Oh, no, she took three damage from that explosion. That looks like it hurt. All right, we have to try and do some serious work on the other cyber disc here. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So, Dobrenina, you're going to run over here and heal up Kraus. Otherwise, she'll be in trouble later. You're also hurt, though. I forgot about that. Everyone's injured from that group. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to heal with you, then. I'm going to have you smoke grenade this area so that we're a little bit tougher. Won't work if he just throws another grenade, but it will protect us against most other things. So what we're going to do then is we're going to move Becker over to here. There now. And Patil is going to come over on the side. There we go. And Patil, you come over here. And you're going to take a shot. Oh, you can't take a shot. Mm. I guess I'll grenade with you. I'll send you over this way and fire a grenade. You're probably going to get grenaded again on these guys, but that's... Oh, no. Ouch. Thankfully, he shot the floor instead of shooting us. That's that's good. All right, you're going to throw a grenade at him from here. This should do some decent damage. There we go. Pop goes the grenade. A lot of cyber distance. Oh, I forgot about the drone. Ah, whatever. We're going to restore it if missed ourselves. That'll give us all a big heal. It should give us all six health back, because we have that uh, upgrade to our healing ability. There we go. That's good. That makes us a lot tougher. If that car explodes. That's fine. Then these guys are going to be able to move up. Cyberdisc is coming in right close. We got a shot from Kraus, because he's getting too close. But this might really hurt if he comes right in beside us and shoots us in the head. Oh, yeah, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, he's exploding. He's doing that, like, dance of death thing you never see. Wow, that didn't do anything. That was weird. 
I've never ever seen them use that ability in game. I've only ever seen it in the multiplayer. But he used it on one target. <laughs> like, what was going on there? I don't understand what that was all about. We're gonna send Shapira over here, and Shapira should be able to shoot him in the butt. How can Shapira not see him? That's weird. All right, I'm gonna send Shapira over here then, so Shapira can save this civilian. Reynolds, and she didn't even work. That's weird. You're gonna take a shot up at him, Reynolds. You're gonna do a headshot. 93% chance to hit. Looks pretty solid to me. Go for it. And go. Oh, seven damage. Okay, not bad. Not great, but not bad. You can double tap. But first, I'm actually going to move with Dobranina, get her out of the way so that she doesn't accidentally get exploded. So I'm going to move you over to here, Dobranina, and you're going to take a shot back at that drone. There we go. Take a shot back at the drone. 92% chance to hit, 10% chance to crit. Can you do it? No, you cannot. That's fine. All right. Now, we're going to kill that guy with Reynolds. Reynolds, take your shot. 82% chance accuracy, and it looks like you got it. You're doing well with that new rifle. And he goes boom. Is that a success? Anger management. I don't know what that's all about. Getting a bunch of random achievements. Oh, that's the that's the pheromone bonus, isn't it? Yes. What does the pheromone bonus do? How do I see that? Can I go to somebody who hasn't acted yet and see what the pheromone bonus is? Um, I don't see it here. So many oh, here it is. Bonuses to aim, critical chance, and movement. Wow, I wonder how good the aim is. Wow, pretty good. Combat for wounds give you a plus 10% bonus to aim, plus 5% bonus to crit. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Alright, let's see if somebody else can do it. Let's give Becker a chance, because she could use another level up still. She's not, uh, she's not maximum level yet. Does she get the combat pheromones bonus too, I wonder? Let's see. Looks like she does. Yeah, she does. Wow, that's powerful. Alright, take the shot. You're dead. Is that a victory? It is. Completed. Operation Fallen Chant was a success. 13 aliens killed, nobody lost, almost all the civilians saved. Looking good. Looking good. Alright, we can fly back home again. That was a lot of cyberdisks. Holy cow. Three cyberdisks in one mission? Very unusual. All right, promotions for Patil, promotion for Dobranina. Good stuff. Sergeant, you're now going to take the medic abilities. You're actually a useful medic if we need you. Patil, you are going to be taking the... Uh, ooh, this is a good level. The maximum level lets you get cool things. Reactive targeting sensors are really powerful. You get a free shot back at the first enemy who attacks them every turn. That's amazingly good. You can overwatch. You'll get an attack on the overwatch. Somebody else shoots you, you can attack on them as well. Absorption fields is kind of cool, but the fact is, it only works against hits that do more than 33% of their maximum health, which means that they have like 23 health right now, which means it has to do about 7 damage or more to even be reduced at all. A lot of the shots we take are about 7 or 8 damage anyway, if they're going to be that high. So I think, personally, that reactive targeting sensors are much more powerful. Especially since we already have our toughness built up here with the damage control and repair servos. So I think that's definitely better. Awesome, though. That's a powerful upgrade. We have our floater corpses, cyber disc wrecks, various other bits, similar alien allies, weapon fragments. Awesome. Panic in India has decreased by four, and panic across Asia has decreased. Fantastic. Take a look here. Look at this! This is great! This is so good. That worked out so nicely. I guess we made the right choice there, going for money earlier. Now, one thing I want to double check. Did we actually make any... Uh... Rail guns? Because if we did and I didn't equip them, I feel extra dumb. We did! I am super dumb! I apologize, people. You're probably complaining like mad. Alright. <laughs> We're going to equip these. They're amazing. 6 to 8 damage, 11 to 13 critical damage. They're super powerful. Equip the rail guns. I can't believe I didn't equip them before. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> well, we have them now. There we go. But yeah, that was pretty stupid of me. Anyway, there we go. We're leveled up. That's good stuff. I think we're going to send Kraus into the Gene Mods lab now. The Covert Ops are coming up soon, though. I don't know. Maybe we'll just wait until this month is done, and we'll do that after, when the Sasai testing is completed. For now, though, we are going to probably end the episode here. I'll check how much time we have left, and we'll go from there. Well, we have a little bit of time left. Not enough to do a whole covert op, 
We might have a little bit of time to do something else interesting if we can find something else to do. Now, I definitely want to try and get more engineers soon. We could try and build ourselves a workshop. Let's see how much they cost here. That's three power. They would give us an additional five engineers. So if we built one of these, we'd be able to get ourselves the... Uh, if we built it here, we'd be able to get ourselves our satellite uplink after that. But that's a pretty expensive thing, especially since we have our council upgrades coming up soon. How many new people do we get? Well, this is money. I don't want to see that. I want to see how many new people we get. Can I do that somewhere? Satellite uplink mm, apparently not. We're currently getting, let's see. One scientist and one engineer per month. So that's that. Three engineers... Four engineers. Oh, we're going to be one engineer short after all this. Really? Oh, that's awful. We're one engineer short, because we'll get... No, one from there. Two from there. One from there. Yep, we're one engineer short of being able to actually uh, make our satellite uplink after this. That's unfortunate. We'll have to get some some other way then, I guess, but we'll have to make do. All right, let's scan for some activity here. <laughs> Immediately found a UFO. Okay, I guess we're going to go scramble the interceptors and shoot them down. Go, Avalanche 3. You should have no problem against a small scout. If there were anything bigger than that, we'd be worried, but you should be fine. Take them down. Enemy is padlocked. All right. Here we go. One shot. Two shots. Problem down. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're going to be doing this next episode then, because I can't do that right now, really. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some XCOM Enemy Within for you. Today's episode's a bit shorter than normal, but the game decided to throw a bunch of stuff at us right away, and I don't feel like doing another 50-minute episode. So, thanks for watching, but we're going to end it here, I think. Maybe... Actually, hang on. Is there one other thing I can do? The one other thing I wanted to check out was in the Foundry. The improved arc thrower is 50. I don't know if I really want to get that. But is there anything else in here we want to actually buy? The Jelly Delirium was the other one I wanted to look at, but it's 100. Ooh. But yeah, it increases your flamethrower power, so it's pretty sweet. Hmm. I guess for now I'll leave it, since I can't really afford it. And the Illyrium cost is pretty high, too. Eh. I guess we'll leave it for now. I thought we had something else there that was pretty cool, too, but apparently not. Do we have another research we can do? No, we're just finishing the one we're currently working on, the plasma pistols. Okay, well, never mind. Like I said, then, I guess we'll come back again next time. So this has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some XCOM Enemy Within. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.